Today I'm going to show a quick demo of how to use VS Code to onboard a new Big IP declaratively. So here's my situation. I have a Big IP virtual edition that is housed or running in a VMware cluster. And I want to create a new Big IP. But I don't want to reconfigure that Big IP manually. I mean, it's not hard. I can go and I can create the self IPs, I can create the VLANs, I can create all the DNS information. Um, you know, it's, it, it, it's not very difficult. The thing is I'd like to do is I'd like to keep things consistent. So what I would like to do is create this base file that declaratively using the API, I can just post the new configuration and change one or two, one or two items. The only thing I really need to change is the host name and the IP address. But that's really all I need. I need to change, and then of course, you know, there's licensing that kind of stuff. But but the big IP is already the new big IP is already running. I use GoVC. It pulls the file. It powers on the big IP. DHCP provides the management IP address. And so at this point now, it's just a matter of configuring the big IP. So to do this, we're going to use declarative onboarding. Declarative onboarding is one of the items that we have in our automation tool chain. Think of it as your toolbox for automating Big IP. And so how do you get or build a DO JSON or declarative onboarding JSON without really knowing a lot about the format and the schema? And there's a tool called ACC. ACC will convert Big IP Conf or Big IP Base to declarative onboarding output. And so let's do that. What I've done is I've archived my current base system or my current Big IP that's running in VMware. I've created this archive and I'm going to import the file. And so how do I do this? You'll notice that in VS Code there's an F5 logo. How do you get the logo? If you go to extensions, you can import these extensions, the F5 ACC chariot and the F5 extensions by simply just searching for F5. You'll see it here. Here is the one. You need to import this. And here is the second one. You need to import the F5 ACC chariot. ACC chariot does the conversion of big IP conf. The extension is what allows you to import the configuration and then post or update or manage any of these automation tool chains as well as many other features as well. So I have imported my tool and that gives me this F5 logo. What I'm going to do right here is I'm going to import the configuration. This is really cool. So right here I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to look for my convert.ucs file. I'm going to open this. Let's close this out. And as you can see, I've already imported it. It's east.f5demo.com. It tells me the, the version. I can look at the sources here. I can see the big IP conf, which I can click here, which gives me the big IP configuration. I can see the big IP base, which gives me the big IP base configuration. Or you can just use this partition one with the base and the DO. Some of this is already being done part of the conversion toolkit. So I'm going to just keep this pretty easy. I'm going to just take this base file. And what I want to do on this base file here, what I'm going to do with this base file is I, I have the configuration right here. So the first thing I want to do is select the entire config. This is the entire configuration, this big AP base. And I'm going to right click it. And I'm going to convert to DO with ACC. And as you can see, it ran through the conversion file. And now I have a declarative onboarding JSON file, as you can see right here. Now, this is one file that I've used, but you can also go down if you want to use DO right here. This is another file. It just depends upon kind of what you kind of what you need. It's pretty much the same, but this is a little bit more specific to DO. Uh, instead of using this one. So if you want to close this, I can just don't save. I can go down to this DO file that was created as part of the VS Code extension. Thank you very much. And I can convert 
to DL. And now I have a really cool format. And I can go ahead and close this out. Don't save it. So now I have this common partition with all the objects. And so I can go ahead and take a look at some of these objects. I'm just going to go and minimize them. And these are some of my items that I can actually use to configure back. And there are more and more. And we are adding to this daily. This is not everything we're adding to it. It's an ongoing project. And it's a pretty new project. Um, so if, if something does not work the way it should do, just do a little bit of monitoring. Send us information. You can use the GitHub link and we will add it. So these are the objects right here, object classes. And so a couple of things that I, I don't need, a couple of things that I do need. So now that you have JSON, it allows you to build this template from here. ACC is not a migration tool. ACC does require a little bit of work. Because at this, because ACC doesn't 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 know what your input your input is. It's what you input is what you get out. So at this point now, since I'm going from east, I want to create a new system. And so the first thing I want to do is potentially go look at some of these system profiles. So the first thing I want to do is change east to let's say let's call it DO, or you can call it anything you want. I don't like this. I'm going to remove it. Uh, I can keep this right here, management IP. And I don't want to manage my IP because I've configured that through DHCP. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll let the system have its own. Provisioning. Mm, I'm not using these two, AFM, ASM on my new one. So I can go ahead and remove that. The DNS. Yes, I want to keep this F5 demo. Um, this AWS DNS, I don't need. I can remove that. Internal, external. So let's take a look at this VLAN 100. Yes, for external, that's correct. That's the correct tagging. I don't have to change any of this. I noticed that this is not correct. So remember, I told you this is a very early program. It's been around for, you know, 15, 16 releases, but we've been solely focused on AS3. That's L4 through L7. DO is new. So there's a couple of things here that are not rendered correctly. And again, this is very easily fixed. And so it's just formatting and just work with us and we will fix this um, this rendering so that you don't have to initially focus on it. But you can see this is not handled correctly here. So I know how to fix this quickly. Um, basically, the self IP needs to be handled outside. External is the name of the VLAN and the UI allows me to create a self IP. Also called external. But declarative onboarding won't allow you because the schema won't allow me. So what I need to do is I simply just need to fix this item right here. And I have a working example. Let's pull my working example configuration. You can see here is my working config. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag that in. And so I need this piece right here. And so it's all templating at this point. And so here is what I'm missing. So as you can see here, and then I can remove this piece. And so what was what was kind of missing is that this is the name of the VLAN. This is the name of the self. It doesn't like my name correctly because I haven't, oopsie, I haven't closed that. And, and, and this is the nice thing about, you can see here, I need to close that and I need to fix that and I need that lovely little item right there. Now you can see that's happy. I can pretty print this so that I know that that's happy. And you can you can continue to go through this. You can see some of the other things that there might be problems with here, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You can con continue to do that. You can kind of see, we see it, it's doing schema validation. You can kind of see where it doesn't like certain things, it says that 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 should be it, that's that that's a gateway property. So you can kind of remove that. And internal, we can fix the internal. We can fix the internal as well. Let's open that up. And as you can see, just like I did with the external, we need to fix the internal. 
So let's go to my example right here and pull this in here. And, and you, you know, I pulled this from the docs earlier because I saw it wasn't getting handled correctly. So I kind of pulled it from the documentation. And so I need to close this out. Can't make sure that's valid. JSON. That now is correct. JSON right there. Internal. Internal right there. Internal self. And yes, internal is not allowed. And so let me fix this piece here. Fix the formatting. And there is the formatting fixed there. So let's go ahead and say the self IP, this one I don't need. This gateway here, I don't need. The default, the traffic, the VLANs. Yeah, I don't really need these. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And so now I have these two. This needs to be kind of moved over a bit. That is kind of right there. I see I fixed that. So there's the internal. There's that internal right there. And I need to close that out. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to format this correctly. So now my formatting looks good. And as you can see, I'm missing a close. So here I have a really nice declaration that is that makes sense. So provisioning, LTM, DNS, there's my DNS, there is my DNS name, I have my external, my internal, and open close, that all looks good. This is all fixed, this is all fixed nicely. There's one two, there's one one. And so here's what I can actually do now. Once I have this template, and once I have this template and this format, what I can do now is I can right click. I can post. First thing I need to do is select the device. So this is the new device. So let's go to F5 extension, F5 hosts. I want to connect to the new device. Okay, I've connected to the new device. And so what I want to do here is I'm going to take this file, this file right here. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to post this guy. And as you can see, it's actually working here. And this is the actual transaction that it's doing. So it's posting multiple times. It's configuring the system um, to do what to do what we need. So that is actually really, really, really cool. And it will log and provide output. You can see if there's problems there, it'll come back. So you'll notice the first thing is you see that the code 200. OK, and it came back with the posted declaration. And so this is what was posted at this time. And you can kind of see, you can go through. So how did I get here? I got here by taking a existing configuration, exporting the configuration as an archive, and then coming into this tool using VX code and importing the, the, the UCS file, and then when I imported the UCS file, the Configuration Explorer gave me the constructs. It gave me the big IP conf. And from, from this big IP conf or from this DO objects right here, I was able to then go and select the items, right click, make the conversion from base config to declarative onboarding. And then, of course, do the massaging that I need to do, which I had to which I had to do a few massaging right here um, based on the on the documentation. And once I was able to come up with a really cool template for my new configuration, now I have this, this really cool template. So any more big IPs that I want to onboard or configure, all I would need to do at this point is change the host name, maybe change the IP address, and declare it. So now I have this really cool template to work off. And you can templatize this and add this to your, your tool chain, add this to your workflows, or maybe templatize this even more, maybe using stuff like Ansible or Terraform to templatize this, this JSON file. And so that's how I was able to, to get this configuration on the system. So you can actually see 
here's what's coming back, 200 OK. This is the declaration. Um, at this point now, um, this system is now this system is now active, and it has an active self-IP on it. That's what I wanted to show you. If you like this video, like and subscribe. There's other cool videos coming in the future. Thank you so much. Have a good day.